Close by neighborhood. Stop killing the children. Close by neighborhood. It's a separate issue, my friend. What about the kids? She was talking about children. She was talking about children. Look, hey, you're not going to win our game. This is so You here anymore, Escobar? You sold out your own city. How do you feel? Traitor! You sold out your own city, Escobar. Don't pay attention to these idiots. They love you. Traitors! Did you bring your hand? Did you bring your hand? She's crying already? Hey, traitor! They're hiring at Cincinnati Bar! You're a liar, and the biggest liar standing to your right. You didn't donate anything, AOC. Well, then tell her to go home. Go home, enough. We have that. The idea that we have to choose between people is a false notion. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're a false notion. Liar. 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 Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so full of it, AOC, and you know it. You're bought. When is Omar going to talk? I want to hear that bullshit. Guys, it is so it is so hot out here. You have no idea. My other stream, my other phone just completely died on me. Let's see how long this one will last, alright? Sorry about the technical delays. It's 100,000 degrees out here. <laughs> Phone's dying on me and shit. Second phone. I'm on my third phone already, man. This is killing me. <laughs> Oh, there's the racist word. I knew it would come out. So somebody owes me twenty dollars. I can't remember who I bet. The first one that said racist. Excuse me, guys. I gotta move to you side. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. You too, sir. That one. Yeah. Are right, they getting ready to come out, guys? Yeah, you're probably better. Yeah, they're gonna get stampeded. Thank you. At this point, I'm better off stampede. You can put me in a, a cool, a cool ambulance, man. <laughs> Get out of this heat. Yeah. All right, they're gonna come around this way, go right up this ramp here. My only concern is they never say anything good about the border patrol. I just want to hear one good comment saying that the border patrol is doing something good because I know they're working hard in there, and it's not fair for them to be everything negative. I'm, I'm very unbiased on this, but I, I want to hear both sides, and I want to hear somebody tell us that the border patrol is working their tails off because I know they are. And it's not fair for them to continue to bash our agents. And then blame it on a Trump policy because these guys are just doing their jobs. I know. I only right, guys, stand by. We'll be walking by. I'm going to, I'm going to ask them if they can tell us anything good the, the, the Border Patrol has done. At least tell us something good. Going that way, right? Tell them that they didn't do an air. 
Let's go up here in the shade, folks, because they're going to walk by this way over here. I'm too hot. <laughs> going to collapse out here. Let's watch from a distance over here. Oh. Let's see what's going on. You can't hear anything over there. Everybody's yelling and screaming anyways. You can watch what they're saying on the news, Channel 9 or whatever. But I, I, I'm going to ask all of them if they give me a chance and answer what are, what's going on good in there. Tell us something good. Patience, okay, here they come, everybody. Get ready for the stampede. They're gonna come right through here. We're gonna hopefully, we're gonna trap a good thing, man. <laughs> Can you tell us what they're doing good in there? I want to find Veronica. I want to find Myra. I don't care about AOC. I'm going to talk to my representative. Veronica. Watch out for the pole behind Tell us in English first. Um, I just gave, yeah. Who is this about people drinking from toilets? Excuse so, me, guys. I, in Espanol, I didn't hear that, um, so I wasn't in the room. So we, se sintió, what about the drinking? Anything good, Monica? Anything se good? Se it's unfortunate to me that this is um, what my colleagues from across the country are seeing. Uh, you know, of course, I would like to visit under different circumstances, but um, the challenges that we face as a nation have to be dealt with with compassion and with humanity for everyone involved. So it's important that my colleagues come and see this. Anything positive? Anything Anything positive? No positive news. We're not going to get anything positive here. And yes, I have said very many times. What did you see good in there, though? What did you see good inside? I'm trying to answer your question. Okay. I don't have to answer it. Sure, but sure, I'm sure. To. All right. I have said many times the agents are overwhelmed, exhausted. This is a terrible situation for them. We have some very good agents, but after today's um, ProPublica news, it's very clear there's also some people who, should, who do not deserve to have a badger. Congress, or did you Congress? Congress? All right, there you go. So Veronica's telling us there's things going on in there that they shouldn't be having a badger or a gun. It's, I can't, I can't verify it. Of course, this is taking with a grain of salt. Uh, it's what it is. So, she says she doesn't have to answer my question because she's uh, an elite now, I suppose. But nonetheless, she did answer the question and I will be seeing her at her town hall tomorrow to tell her to be more specific. Because she's very specific when she says the bad things that are happening, but she doesn't be very specific on the good things. And I think it's fair that she gives the Border Patrol and the, CP, uh, C, uh, the CBP the courtesy to say something positive for a change. At least say something positive specifically. You know, because you see certain in in circumstances and it's unfair. Certain in in circumstances where 
this one particular instance happened, that one particular instance happened, but how about a particular instance where a, an agent went out of his way to do something for a child? How about a particular instance where a, an agent uh, uh, nursed a sick baby back to health? How about some good stuff for a change? Not only bad things, because yes, there's going to be bad things happening. But we need to hear both sides of this, and I'm tired of hearing only one side. I'm a very independent guy. I, I'm right down the middle on a lot of things, but this is getting absurd. The, the nation's being looking at El Paso and our Border Patrol agents as if they're vilifying them, but there's some good guys in there that are doing their jobs, and they're not giving that credit, and that's not fair. I will be at Veronica's town hall tomorrow and I will ask her, I will sign up and I ask her to give me one specific reason, specific things of what the Border Patrol is doing good. Because I know there's good guys in there and good women in there that are doing their jobs right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're still out here. It's pretty much uh, a done deal. I think the uh, the event's about to end. There, when the reporters are going home, the the Congress people said their part. You know, where the hell are the Republicans at? That's my question. Where the hell are the Republicans at? Uh, Crenshaw. How about Cruz? How about some Republicans get out here and walk through? How about they finally do their damn jobs for a change? Instead of letting the Democrats come over here and do all this abusive talk to these guys, why are the Republicans over here not defending them? Where the hell are you at, Republicans? I'm calling you out right now. Because this country's a, a, a two-party system, but there's only one party being heard. You sons of bitches are over there in, in, your, in, in, in Washington. Why don't you take a trip down here and tour and give us some good news? I'm tired of hearing all this bad news all the time because I know there's guys in here doing their jobs. Guys, start calling your Congress people. Start calling your Congress people and tell them to get their asses out here. If you're a Republican, call them and tell them to get over here. Because you get the Democrats there and they're happy to get in front of these cameras. I want to hear what's going on on the other side. I know all of you do too. This is not a one-sided thing here, but the damn Congress is allowing it to be. And I want to hear the other side. Unless they actually don't have anything good to say. If they don't have anything good to say, then that makes sense. Then that's, a, that's our answer. Then they're not doing good things in there. But I, I got to believe that's not true. I got to believe that these men and women in here are doing everything they can. I want a big press conference. You said Cruz is here today. Where is he at? I haven't heard or seen anything. There was a bunch of media about these people being out here. Where's Cruz? Where's Abbott? Where's, where's all of our representatives? Where's, Who's this knucklehead running for Senate again next term? Where, where's he at? Where's Cornyn? All right, let's go on. Uh, I know I know what's his name over there. Crenshaw has his own issues to deal with down there, but come on, man. Come on, where's Nunez? Where's all these other uh, big name guys over there that, that, that run this Republican Party? Huh? Where are you at? Why are you not out here doing your jobs and showing the people the other side? Why is it always one-sided here in El Paso? This is ridiculous. Guys, get on the phone and call your Congress people up and tell them to get over here. Tell them to get over here. Because you're getting one side and it's just so unfair to these Border Patrol agents. There needs to be more than one side. All these people, they have a right to be out here and they have every right to say what they're saying because they're only hearing one side. If they would get the full picture, if we all got the full picture, this stuff wouldn't be happening. We would have peace in this country. We would have peace where everybody would see that everything is working correctly. <laughs> But the Republicans are no-show. Republicans don't ever come out. So somebody tell me where they're at. Give me a good reason why they don't come out and do something like this. These Democrats are, are full-fledged to this. And there's no Republicans here. No Republicans have come to see this. And when they do, they don't have press conferences. I'm waiting to see that. You guys have no idea how furious I am. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to cut this stream. Everybody's taking off now. I think it's a good time to cut. I'm glad you guys joined me. I had a bunch of technical difficulties today with the heat. Sitting on these rocks here, it's well over 100 degrees. Well over 100 degrees. That, you can just feel it radiating off the ground. You can feel that heat just coming right up. And it's extremely hot. 
for everybody that came out here, I'm, I'm happy. They're exercising, exercising their, their constitutional right to be here. And everyone here, all the Americans that came out to voice their opinion, that's awesome. I fought and I, I, I joined, I served the military for that. But I'm only hearing one side. Congress people, where are you at? I served so I can hear both sides, all sides of this issue from my congressional representatives. And you are not here. You just allow them to come and, and spew the nonsense that may be true. And, and many people believe it because you don't defend these guys. You don't come down. You don't take the time to come down. People, people laugh at me when I tell them, guess what? Texas is going to be blue in 2022. They laugh at me when I say that. But look, it, you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it till you see it. And then you're going to think, well, Ben was right because I am right. If those Republicans don't get off their asses and do their jobs, this is going to be a blue state. And then the whole thing is going to stay blue for a long, long time. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. I want to see, I'm a conservative. I want to see conservative things happening, but I want to hear both sides so I can make a fair, honest decision. Because right now I only hear one side. I don't hear Congress out here from the Republicans. No Senate. I don't, I don't hear anything. And they need to get out here. I'm, I'm sorry, God. I'm ranting now. You got these men and women in there working their tails off, 18 some odd shifts overtime, and all for them to come out and give us negative talk, all of them for come out and just spew negativity on them. That's unfair, man. That's absolutely unfair. Get, get on your phone and call your congressman and tell them to take their own tour of the Clint facility. Tell them to do it this week, next week. Tell them to do it. Get off their asses and do their jobs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with some of your comments here in a little while. I got to get out of this heat. I think I'm getting to, getting a little bit stir crazy out here with this damn heat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Share this video. Share share all those videos from today. And I apologize again. This heat was killing my equipment, and all this equipment of all these people were suffering as well. So thank you so much. I did this for you guys. I couldn't make it out here. Um, at least share. At least share uh, Sun City live streams. Get that. Get the word out about this page. Uh, this is not the end of it. I got a lot more coming. I'm going to be at Veronica Escobar's town hall meeting, and I can pretty much guarantee there may be more people. It is during the week, so I don't know who all is going to be there. Um, but I intend to be there, and I want to ask her specifically, show me, tell me three good things, three positive things happening in here. Let's, let's be positive for a change. And she's my rep here in El Paso, Texas, so I, I sincerely hope she can tell me three positive things, not just this broad statement that, Oh, you know, it's so, you know, there's a lot of good agents. Yeah, that, that's, that is a political answer. That is a scapegoat bullshit answer. Sorry my, for my language. I want to hear specifics. Show me, tell me what you saw good. Tell me what you saw good. Because it's easy for you to say something bad. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, for watching. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. I uh, appreciate it. I'll catch up with you all later. Thank you.